Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make shapes. Here is a shape. Actually, on the on this area, I have a picture. So in the picture, I have different kind of shapes, and the shape have different background. Right, and I want to use the AutoCAD software. The draw almost the same, almost the same shapes. And so if you do a Google search, you are going to see a shape, geometric shapes. So I found the shape here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make the shapes. That's the four, fourth the row, the circle, triangle, rectangle, and ellipse. We are going to draw the shapes and fill with color and we are going to add the annotation for the text. So let's get back to the AutoCAD. Actually, I need this picture so you can use the snipping tool. Actually, let's get back to the original picture here activate the snipping tool so we can cut we can cut we can cut this area cut this area and then go get back to the autocad and to paste to paste right click Go to the clipboard and paste. Now we are going to see the, the picture that I got from the from the Google search. So I can select it and drag drag the corner and change a little bit, make it larger and stop here. Now I'm going to use the, the pen tool. Move a little bit, move to move to the center of the workplace and uh, stop it. Exit, exit the pen tool. And uh, now I can start drawing. So let's go to the dimension two in the annotation tab. Dimension two, we want to dimension it. I mention it. So let's select here from this point to this point. So we di we dimension the diameter is about two point five. Now let's draw a circle. Draw a circle. Activate the circle and just select the diameter. Diameter. Here is the center and the diameter. So the center, I want to decide here. Around here, around here. Now you have the, you show the, you show the prompt, show the task, text to indicate the type in the dimension, uh, diameter. So make sure that you activate, now you need to activate the dynamic input. If you have the dynamic input, you're going to show up, showing up the text, the dynamic input. Now you can tap in 2.5. Hit enter. Now we have the circle. And then I'm going to fill it with the head, head to fill the color, and the head to select the solid, and Select the color, color is red, and then fill the color. Close the hatch. Now I don't want to have the edge. Now the edge is, is, is dark, is black. I delete, delete the edge. Now it looks okay. And uh, let's go to the second one, the triangle. Triangle, this is a, uh, is a regular triangle of the same 
same side, and the angle is 60 degrees for all of them. So let's dimension, go to dimension to dimension the length. The side length. So it's about 2.8. 2.8. That's also dimension angle. It should be. It should be. Should be. Uh, should be. Should be 60 degree. But because we don't quite have the, uh, don't have don't have the edge here. So we dimension only dimension the, the edge length. Now we are going to draw the triangle. So this time I'm going to activate the awesome awesome mode. Make sure that I have a what uh, horizontal line. So I'm going to use the polyline to here. Polyline to here. The point I'm going to start it here. And I have our horizontal line. So the length is going to be 2.8 parallel to that. And then I need to switch off the awesome, awesome mode also on so that I can go different direction. Meanwhile, I want to activate the color tracking so that I'm going to see the Going to see the, the angle, the degree selected 30, 60, 90, 120. Make sure that you activate this. Now, if I move, you're going to see here, right? You have the angle, you have the angle. You have the angle. So let's type in, let's type in the length. 2.8 hit enter now actually it's not what I want let's get back cancel it and uh, delete it let's repeat hit the polyline and the start a point this is this is okay to get a Horizontal line. Let's type in two point eight. Hit. Now still there is the angle one degree right. So let's let's use the tab key. Now it's going to set angle zero. Hit enter. Then let's go to this way. First, let's set the length two point eight, and then hit the tab key. Tab key. Switch to the angle. This time, the angle should be one twenty. Hit enter, and then I can connect to the the end point right here. Right click. Now I got the regular triangle. Activate the head too so that we can feel the color. Select the solid and select the color. The color is going to be this one, close, not exactly the same. And close it and delete the edge. Now I have the I have the triangle. Let's change the color a little bit. Just need to hit the triangle. The color is likely this one. Close it. It's closed, not exactly. So we can further move a little bit. Hit move to and select the object. Right click. Decide the base point and put it, put it in the center and move it. it. Looks better. Now let's draw a rectangle. 
I'm going to use the the polyline tool so that before doing that we need to dimension it the dimension it so at this point and this point we got the length 3.5 dimension the width okay. it's about it's about here I want to put on this side it's about 2.1 okay let's start the drawing activate the polyline tool here start with the first point and then type in this time I need to switch to the also awesome mode that will help the drawing so every time I'm going to have the horizontal and vertical so we need don't need to set the set the degree, set the angle. So type in 3.5, hit enter, and move, move downward, move downward, and type in 2.1, hit enter, and move to the left side, type in 3.5, hit enter. Now I can close it. Hit enter. I have the rectangle. Let's fill in the color with the head tool here. Hit the head tool and select the solid and select the color. Color is like purple. Fill it. Click. Close the head tool. Now I want to delete the edge. I don't need it. Now we are done the rectangle. This is the ellipse. Let's dimension it. I want a dimension here. Dimension the length of the axis. The dimension is here. From here to here. So the length is going to be 3.0. And uh, let's see the short the length of the short axis is about 2.1. Okay, now let's draw it leaves. Leaves is here. So we can use the second one. This is going to have the stand point. And the end point for the for the long for the for the axis along x axis. So besides the first point here, the length is going to three point zero three point zero. Enter, and now we are going to type in the short axis. Short axis is going to be one. It's going to be one. Now I have the shape. Let's go to the hedge tool and select the solid and the color. The color is going to be like this one. Close. Close to this color. Build. Close. It's not exactly the same, but we can also change it. Change the color we want. But I'm not going to change. We may want to change a little bit. Is the hedge and now go to the color and uh, we can go to here more recently so we can select right here go to darker maybe it's like this color is okay now we already filled it close it is better now I want to delete the edge okay now I finish the ellipse I need the background. Need the background. The background is like a like a orange. So I want to draw a rectangle to make it like a background. Let's start it right here and end it here. And I need to fill with the head to 
Well, the color, color is going to be only this one. Select and close the hair. And I want to delete the head. Now I need to change the change the layer, right? Change the put the, put the rectangle at the behind. It's going to be a back background. So let's go to the draw order tool is here. So we can change the order of the object. So let's go to the second one, center back. Basically we turn, want to send it back. Select this object, right click. Now it go back go to the back. And still we want to add the text. We indicate we illustrate this is a circle. Let's use use the multi-line. Multi-line text is easy to use. Let's draw the first point and uh, go to the opposite direction. And uh, we may need to decide the size. Make it larger, 0 0.2, hit enter, and uh, tap in circle. The circle is still small. Let's then make it larger, 0 0.4. Now it's larger, it looks better. And now the background is not white. Let's change the background. We select the circle and we select the mask. Mask and use the background mask. Change it to the white. Close it. Now I can't see the can't see the text. Because the color is white. Let's change the color for the text. So the color actually it depends on the binary color. Let's change it to this one. This is dark. Okay, we have the color. We can move a little bit. Move a little bit. And uh, it seems too large. Let's type in 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So now we need to hit the hit the Control Z to get back the circle. 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Nice. Looks okay. We can move a little bit down, okay? So this is the uh, escape. Now I can move, move the background a little bit down. Now we use the move to select the rectangle. I want to move a little bit down. Right click, decide the base point, move a little bit. Okay, it looks better. Now let's add the second one. Here, copy it, copy it, copy it, copy it, right click, and then add the name, triangle. And then add a rectangle. And then add ellipse. Sorry. Double click ellipse. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for your watching.